Hello, everyone. It's me, Blue, and today I'm here with another Dragon Avengers video. And today, I got a bit to go over. So, as you can see here, there's a sunflower. Be wondering, what is a sunflower for? Well, if you've been out of the loop, it's for the Solstice event. The Solstice event is coming to Dragon Adventures in in a week. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'll try my best to stream it. Um, <clears throat> yeah. So basically, with the sunflower, I don't know what it does. <laughs> yeah, I want to see So. There's these orbs, if I can... Okay, well, that person took it here. Hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll back with the final one. Alright, so I, I got one. They can be found anywhere in Origins, so... Let's see what this does. So, we give it to... That, so... So, like, each player gives it to one. Each player gives it some, and then it, like, heals it. Now, what does that do? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that does. So, you know. So, yeah, we'll figure that out. Anyway... So, yes, I have a lot to cover today with the Dragon Avenger Solstice event, a.k.a. one of the favorite events in the game. Anyway, so let's uh, let's get into some of the stuff that they posted over on the Discord. Alright, so for, this is the first image that was posted in the... One of the first images that was posted in the Discord regarding the Solstice event. So, what is this? Well, self-explanatory. Dragon racing. So, basically, so from what I can tell, there's going to be two different variants of the races so this is just the ones we don't need that so there's going to be two different variants in the races there's going to be a flying race and a ground race which you know as i've been stating in all my event videos on how to prepare you're going to want a vented and a dexon unless there's been some sort of new ground dragon that's really fast i don't know but yeah yeah those are just the two best dragons that i know of they, and they are the easiest to get since not like they're tied to a season or, a, or an event or anything. They are easy to get for free to play players. And yes. So it's going to be competitive, which means that we're going to be getting a lot of the stuff that we need. So yes, Sunday search back. I'll go back to the name for a second. So the, the currency. So <clears throat> so from what I can tell from an image that I'm going to be <clears throat> excuse me, showing in a picture, this one. Seems that these things are back. This star catcher. So, I don't remember what the currency was exactly called. Hold on, give me a second. I'm going to figure out what the currency was called. Alright, so they were called sun gold. So, we're, we're that's, this is, this is going to be, this, these are some ways that we're going to be getting the sun gold probably. This is star catcher. So, <clears throat> so in, in case you weren't here for last year's event, star catcher is basically where, these things fly around the map, and then as a team, or if you, want, you, you can do it solo for whatever reason, I think. Um, you can fly around, catch these, and then, depending how fast you are, the more things you'll get. <clears throat> to me, the more currency you'll get. Ice creams, sundaes. It's basically, um, there's going to be, I think it's three that spawn in any world. It could be the Solstice world, or it could be any world that's, that is in the game. Minus the event worlds, of course, but still. <clears throat> you know, they can spawn in the Solstice world. Origins, anything, and you just have to find them. And they, I'm pretty sure they make a dinging sound as soon as you, um, as soon as you're near. Now this one, self-explanatory. It's gonna be flying. It's gonna be flying. And now let's get into some of the better leaks. The new dragon, the Cosmalisk. I butcher that name. I do it every event. Don't worry. So this is what the Cosmalisk is. Honestly, a really solid dragon. Let me off with you. Yeah, that's just a goofy image they post. Yeah, no. So here's its current model. So from what we can, so from what I can tell, its its front legs aren't attached to it. Yeah. See, look. If, if we zoom in here, yeah, no. It's I can't tell if those are attached or not. Yeah, no. So to be the new dragon coming alongside the Hexalia, Solarizon, uh, Volcumus, and the Sirius. So I'm told with this thing, there's gonna be five event dragons. Holy crap! That's a lot for an event. Anyway. So with that, uh, we're going to be making all this. And now, I'm going to go over what you should expect in this event. So let me, let me find some more screenshots from last year. Now we'll be right back. All right, so the first thing that we're, the, that we're going to want to expect, uh, by the way, credits to the Dragon Adventures wiki for the images. I, I'm finding them there. So yeah, so first thing you should expect is these crates. Now you may be wondering, well, what are these crates? <clears throat> well, long story short, this is how you get the eggs and some different potions like the uh sunburn potion or sunbeam or whatever it was called so, yeah, so 
with this you get some some cool presets you get some eggs or you can check currency <clears throat> but these were these were not that hard to really find you know they were they, they spawned a lot they pretty much everywhere in the map so yeah, so not that hard so this is probably the daily bonuses <clears throat> which is this is what you're going to be looking for is with this each day you join you get an additional 100 or 200 or whatever stars or sun the currency so this is what we're probably going to be getting again something like this which you may wonder well how is beneficial well we're getting the the sun things but you may be wondering well what do we spend the sun things on here's the thing upgrade <clears throat> upgrades egg upgrades now will this be back with the event most likely it'll most likely be back they'll probably do something similar to the galaxy event the previous one where where it's not upgraded a lot of times opposed to the other one as i'll show in a minute spando so basically from from my theorizing i think it's going to be to where each week there's they're, they're gonna release a new dragon one of the new sorry one of the dragons so for like week one it could be um i don't know it could be hexolius and solar and week two hexolius Bokumus. week three hexolius so serious and week four hexolius and Cos cosmolus i can't say the name for anything i'm sorry now if we're looking at lasher's upgrades these were not cheap. If you wanted to get a tier five egg, that would be one one point five thousand just to upgrade one egg all the way to level five. <clears throat> now, that doesn't sound like a lot, but you know, it raises the chances, which makes getting the cool dragon, the the, the new dragon, really easy. And now, because I'm gonna make this video two in one. I'm going to also tell you how you can prepare for this event. Let's get into that. And so I'm going to keep this part short and sweet. So what you're going to want is a fat, as I said earlier in the video, a fast flying and fast ground dragon. As I say in the beginning of the video for the races, which are now confirmed. So, you know, I don't have to say if, you know, which is nice. Um, and something else you're going to want is a lot of, I made a lot of, of incubators. Yeah. And then, just knowing the, knowing the Solst events, I don't really want to say this, but you're probably going to want a VIP server if possible. Now, I didn't play the Galaxy event in the public servers much. It didn't seem too bad to get the stuff for, like, upgrading and whatnot, but, you know. A private server will probably be best just because of how you actually get the, get the stuff so people don't steal it from you. Anyway, <clears throat> and also you're gonna want a strong attacking dragon or a, a dragon that's good for attacking. Now, I'm gonna say the mother dragon, but I found something different. Was that so for the galaxy boss with the with the Robodon, It was it was better to have a fast dragon or something that wasn't slow. Something that I found that was really good was the was the Venid. And the Caesarius. I found these two were the just because this is what I used. I used the Caesarius and Venid <clears throat> just because they were they were pretty good. So you know, um, and yeah, but you you can use any dragon. I saw people using Eisendrice, um, literally any dragon they can think of. But something that I would avoid is something that's slow. Now, normally you'd think, well, wouldn't you want something that's hard hitting? Well, yes, but if it's like the Robodon, or it's like any other boss, you're gonna want something that isn't gonna screw you over. And now, to end off the video, we're gonna see what rewards we get from this. I think I think I said there was rewards. Yeah, look, so so it'll give you potions, I guess. But, you know, pretty cool. Anyway, with that being said. Uh, I'm gonna end the video. I hope you all enjoyed. If you found this video helpful, you know, like and comment. And yeah, anyway, with that, I'll see everyone later. See everyone.